I know that my mom likes you for a fact because she gave you her undies. <laughs> no! How the fuck do you be ready? Ah! I'm pregnant. Oh my god, I wish I was exaggerating, but. Good. Oh Come on. God. Hi, I'm Fahim. Hi, I'm Charlotte and we've been together for two years. Lovebird is a reality show which invites a pair of couples to answer a range of questions in a fun and competitive setting. Each participant will take turn to draw a question card and each answer, as agreed by their partner, will lead to one love point. Participants will have chance to increase or lose their points through five power cards in hand which include two I Dare Love cards where answer disagreed by their partner will result to a dare. Three reset for love cards which may increase or decrease their total love points. The game will end when one of the participants scores a total of 15 points. Each unused power card will result to the deduction of one love point. The participant who scores the most points after deduction wins the game. The winner is entitled to request one final death from their partner. I'll be playing a plus two card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The most adventurous activity we did together. Krabi. Uh-huh. Um, the first trip we went together, not with the one with our friends. And uh, the kayak and where we almost died. That was probably the most adventurous activity. I, I disagree. We've done more adventurous Okay, so things. what adventurous things? More than the fact that we almost died in Krabi. We... With no insurance. We... <laughs> We went to Vietnam and we went into a haunted house that had every single safety regulation broken mm -hmm. in the dark. Mm -hmm. You having a panic attack. Yeah. Me having some Vietnamese ghost flying above my head this close. <laughs> That's more adventurous. We could die. But we didn't, but we could have died in the ocean. But we didn't. But we almost did. We almost capsized. How about you agree you're just wrong? I do that every day with you. Plus three. Jang, 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 jang. I'm gonna disagree with you. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, you cannot disagree with me. Oh, I'm winning! What? No! You Ta cannot disagree with me. <laughs> Hello? Do you see me as your lifetime partner? No. I'm joking. Yes, is what I say. I say yes too. Ha! Who made the first move in your relationship? I think I did. What was the move? I asked you out to go for coffee. And I said, hey, do you want to go and get Starbucks? I have one for one. But that wasn't a move. That was a move. That was a first move. That wasn't if that a move. Was, because that I'll, wasn't romantic. Yes. The romance started from then on. You see, then it's not the first move. The first move isn't the first question asked that resulted in the day. The first move is when we go, oh, I think there's something here. So let okay. me let me let me you know risk everything, what we've got so far by making the first move. Like when I, for example, um, here's why I disagree. Okay, what what do you think the first move was, huh? Um, the first move was when um, when I asked you out to to watch a movie with me. I think that's different. Annabelle? Yeah. We didn't ask each other out. I did. It was my no, idea. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annabelle was my idea. No, you didn't. Yeah. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> because the first move is bringing you out to, for coffee for us to bond in the first place. Yeah, but we, we were still friends. It was as friends. That's not the first move. Now, I don't, I don't have to give an answer. Okay, I I just, think, all I have to do is disagree. I don't right? think that's... I disagree because that is as a friend and not as a couple or not as a romantic interest. Therefore, it is not a move. What is the one thing that you always wanted but never got? I think what you wanted but never got was, was, was having a, a really stable relationship with parents. I think you were bounced around a lot because of the divorce and... And you were forced to, to, to adapt and overcome at a really young age. You're, you're always in between yeah. two people who disagreed with each other so much. You were forced to grow up 
you know, be mature at a really early age, at a stupidly early age, and understand that you understood something that kids don't understand at all, which is grown-ups aren't always right, and grown-ups don't always make sense. I agree with you. Okay. What do you like about your partner the most? So what do you like about, about me the you? most? Oh my lord. Okay. One, two, two three, three, my hair. hair. What is your parents' first impression of your partner? You have three. I have three parents. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to choose my mom. Which one? Cass. Okay. <laughs> your birth mom. My birth mama. Love her. You yeah. know, because my mom has seen so many of my other boyfriends. So she thought that you were, you know, like... So many of them, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> that she, you know, she thought you were just one of those guys. Like having dinner with you and you were just talking and just being yourself. My mom just fell in love with you. Yeah, and now I'm dating her. Yeah, exactly. And now you're going to get married. I'm actually replacing her right now. <laughs> I know that my mom likes you for a fact because she gave you her undies. <laughs> okay, see, out of context, that sounds weird. <laughs> so you're gonna have to explain. Okay, so basically, we were shopping uh, and we went to Cotton On, and my mom needed to buy some undies, and then she needed somebody to hold on to the undies. And while so she looks at the other one. Like, while she was uh, looking at other things, and she handed them to you. Well, my parents' first impression of Yeah, her. I would love to hear about that. <laughs> well, my parents never met you. I think our dear love. If we end up going separate ways, what is the biggest possible reason? The biggest possible reason why we, we separate, we go separate ways, we break up, is because you want to start a family and I don't. And you're on a, you're on a time, you're on a time frame and I don't live in that time frame. And if there has to be a reason, if, God forbid, I feel like it'll be that. Ugh. No. I don't like thinking about us not being together. I don't like thinking about it. It's in the damn cards, right? <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> You're there. You just, you, just have to, uh, you just have to uh, hold and lick an orange. I just touch it. No, 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 you have to lick it. <laughs> it's hold and lick. Dude, How looking about? at it. You know, the other day I was inside the fridge and, and because, you know, my family, they also buy oranges, but they hide it inside the fridge so I don't have to hold it, right? But I was looking through shit and then I wanted to find a tomato and I accidentally touched an orange. So you did touch an orange, no, that's a step. There was a plastic around Okay, it. why do I need you to know, know that this isn't to spite you? This is This is a journey. This is a journey to, to improvement. How about you walk us through uh, why you have an orange phobia? <laughs> so that people can understand why it's so oh, confusing stop. for you. Stop! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so basically, when I was four, I had really, really bad asthma. And um, so like, there would be times where like the phlegm would come in and I would be... I couldn't breathe properly. I'll speak. Um, and my granddad just looked at me and uh, he said <laughs> that I can't eat anything that's orange or touch anything that's orange, or look at it, or feel it, or smell it, because it would activate my phlegm to come up, and I'll choke, and I'll die all alone. It's true. And I was like four when he told me that. And so uh, that's, that's why I hate oranges. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I was exaggerating, but... Good. Oh my god. It's just an apple. Did she do it? I did it. What has your partner done to disappoint you the most? It's just, you know, the kid thing. <laughs> the kid thing? You think that yeah, that's wanna, what I've done that, that has disappointed you the most? I just want to start a family. That's it. But so yeah. you think me saying that is the most disappointing thing? To me? To you? Yeah. I haven't disappointed you more. Uh, is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's true. That's yeah. true. I'll put the deck card. Our most romantic moment. Oh, I know what it is. 
You know what it is? Yeah. Shit. I think it was romantic for me, but not romantic for you. Oh, I think our most romantic moment is when I asked you out. <laughs> no. Yeah. I asked you out first. But like the real asking out. No, I asked you out for reals the night before. Then why is it that we celebrate our It's to make you happy. It was my 20th birthday when you surprised me with all of our friends at home. That's not romantic. That was romantic to me. It was a friend thing. Yeah, but nobody has ever done that. And you know, I, I, I don't have that many friends. So it was quite romantic for me. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you when, what I think is the most romantic moment. Okay. I think it's when I asked you out. Um, it was at your place. It was just us at the balcony on the fake grass. And, and then I asked you out and I said, and you were just sitting there and I said, Charlie, can I ask you something? You're like, what? <laughs> and I said, would you like to be my girlfriend? Yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was the most romantic thing. Because that's it true, was. That's pretty romantic when it's you the say the purest. It. And then you finally put words to that song. I did. It was very nice. She agrees. Okay, this is the day that you will find funny. Okay. Okay, so it's not going to be that bad for okay, you. Okay, okay. I'll Hopefully think not. I'll think um, My you have shit to. Itself. You have to. Don't. Oh. You have okay, to. Now. Oh no. Who, who am I calling? Who am I calling? You have to call your dad. Oh. And tell him you're pregnant. <gasps> Papa? Are you free? Uh, why not? Can't pick you up, is it? No. Um. I need to tell you something. What? Um, I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yeah. Not kidding me, right? No. How? 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 When did you find it? Just now. Are you sure? Yeah. Since when you got, got this idea that you're pregnant? Because my period is late and then I did a test just now. Okay. Alright, is Fahim aware? No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know? Alright. You sure you're not joking here? Yeah? No, I'm not joking with you. Alright. Wow. Okay. How do you feel? <clears throat> I don't know. I I don't know what to do. How do you feel? You're happy? You're happy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But you have to I mean there's a lot of things you guys gotta sort out now. Yeah. But is is for him to uh, be responsible? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right, because like, he didn't know why it's important. And he's, he's like that. Alright, so his, his father got going to flip, I'm going to flip. Right? I don't know. My, my father got going to flip, yeah. I have your back. You know, I have your back. You know, you have to be responsible, but some, some of our plans have to change. You know? Okay, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to go tell him now. Alright, so he. Give me some time, I'm cutting it flip here. I need to what to do. Okay, Papa, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I choose the I dare love. What is your partner's biggest flaw? You're disorganized as hell. My dad, I was so glad you were gonna say disorganized. Yeah. What what was what do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> You're disorganized. Your phone is so disorganized. Your apps are in weird folders. No, but I know where it is. You're disorganized and then it affects other people. It's true. It's, it is your biggest flaw and you know it is. I'm gonna call out to my friends right now. We all agree, right? You guys know who you guys are. Mm. It's true, you agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So my dare... I am going to... wax your chest. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just don't do it on the... That's the hairiest part. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, do you think it's better if I count you down or just do it like randomly? Just count. Okay. So I can prepare. On four or on? On three. Who does it on four? You know, like okay, one, go. two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to press mm. it down. Make sure I got everything. That's all right. That's enough. Okay. Are you ready? No! <laughs> How the fuck do you be ready? Ah! No! I knew it. Aww. I've been counting. And I won. I won the game. You just have to eat a raw egg. Oh, that's fine. What? Careful the cards. Oh, dang boy. I've been cooking. I'm very surprised because he doesn't cook, so. No, I cook. Ever since like Circuit, circuit Breaker, Breaker, he started cooking. But she has to I eat the show. See, so it's not that bad. It's a bit old though. Is it? Yucks. Yucks, my boys. Go away, don't swallow it. Hmm? Now you have to scramble it in your mouth. feel good. I feel like we've gotten closer through this and um, I know more about you. Yeah, yeah. Even after two years of knowing you. Yeah, I, 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 I felt like I, I, I realized that you can just eat an egg and that's not a problem. Yeah, with the shell. And I can still, I can, still I'm still not, biting it right and now. And still not an orange. Yeah. And I found out that wax doesn't work on my chest. It doesn't. Maybe you need to do it more time. I just need, need like laser surgery. No, I love your hair. Don't laser it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>